When you're operating your radio with RSBA1 remotely, an uh, issue comes up sometimes about whether or not you have control over your radio, even though it's sort of under automatic control with RSBA1. Are there anything you can do to uh, enhance that automated control, the way that repeaters have uh, watchdog timers and what have you? Now on the radios itself, one of the things you may want to do is to set a CIV watchdog timer and that is if there's no CIV activity for so many minutes it will remove the TX, you, it'll lift the transmit uh, ass assertion so that you're not on the air. Now when you operate sideband of course there's going to be no RF generated if there's no audio to speak of, but there may be background audio and it just may be interfering. So first thing you do on your radios is you hit the menu button and you go into the set area and then pick function. It's going to be the first of first and when you've picked the function then you go into here and you look for menu 2 of 7 in function and you'll find this timeout timer uh, CIV. I've set mine for five minutes. Uh, I've tested this with Danny G0SZI and sure enough if uh, we've set it down to a small number of minutes you can set it to three minutes or whatever you want to. Uh, mine's set for five minutes but you if you turn it off then uh, the transmitter assertion will stay on forever basically but you put this timeout timer on if there's no activity activity means that push the talk button, the changing frequencies, doing pretty much anything uh, restores the timer back to the five minutes again. So you've done that and now your radio is set up to have that. Now the second thing I've done is on my power supplies I bought these uh, Morose Wi-Fi. I had a different model from uh, from Costco and the Costco one wasn't nearly as versatile as this one from uh, Amazon and it's so good that I ended up buying eight of them. I bought two sets of these and I'm using them in, I got a couple of houses, I'm using them in different places. Anywhere you go that you have Wi-Fi access or uh, or internet access on your phone whether it's Android or uh, Apple, you can control this device. You can also control it manually. You see this little button on the side. You can walk in there and push that button. It'll go on and off. And this is also the way that you configure it to talk to a local Wi-Fi network. Uh, next, you can, if you have a uh, Android device, you can find your way to the Google Play Store and you can download this free app from Morose. And um, it says I don't have any devices because I did this on a uh, Windows computer, but had I gone there with my my Android phone, I could have installed it. And uh, same thing with my Apple. I have an Apple iPhone as well. Apple has uh, its own version. And if you notice here, the uh, the stars are, there's 1588, uh, pretty much average of four. This one, I'd give it a an average of, of four or five. It works flawlessly. And uh, this one is the App Store version. It's for iPhones and iPads. Then uh, you're back to making sure you've gotten this done. Now let me go to the next thing you may want to look at and that is getting a copy of uh, VNC software. Now if you do run VNC and I'm using uh, a version of it that is running on my Windows 10 machine which is where I have my radios and I'm actually making this video from a client machine which is a uh, Windows uh, version 7 and it works pretty good too. I'm going to pause this for a second. Uh, I skipped over this frame. <clears throat> this is uh, an excellent version of VNC. There's a tight VNC, ultra VNC, and then there's a professional version of VNC which allows you to do a few more things. But this one works just great, tight VNC. It's free, as you see here, lightweight, fast, and it runs as a server and as a client. You run the client version, of course, on your iPhone or iPad or even another desktop computer anywhere you want to be, anywhere in the world. 
and the server computer that's uh, got control of the radios. And this is why I suggest using a USB connection even to a radio with a LAN port. You have far more control over the operation of the radio if you use the USB port and there's no real advantages to the uh, LAN connection except that it doesn't require another computer. But if you have a spare laptop floating around or you want to buy an inexpensive uh, uh, low power computer uh, you can run uh, your ICOM remote on that computer and control radios. I happen to have three radios uh, on my system. So let's say I've connected now to my computer with uh, the VNC program and let me put this particular window away and go over here to the uh, VNC that I have. And on this one, I'm just going to put that window away, I have uh, three radios connected and this is my server but on my client machine I'm connected to one of the radios. Now you come in, this is your VNC window, you've come in on your iPhone or your uh, Android phone and you see that someone's been on here for a long time. Uh, you can if you want to from VNC disconnect that user and you simply highlight this and you say I want to disconnect uh, this person who's been on the system for a long time with no activity and so I click here and I'm just going to show you that I'm actually connected. Let me go over here and show you that I'm connected with uh, my current remote utility and uh, there I am. I'm, I'm connected to this system. I could disconnect here if I wanted to and if I disconnected from my client machine I want to disconnect yes the server would show that I've disconnected but let's say I didn't do that and I'll re reconnect to that particular machine and I can put this one uh, put this one away because I don't need it anymore um, go back to this machine if I wanted to disconnect this individual I could just click on this and say disconnect there is a radio being used by someone else do I want to disconnect that user and the answer is yes and that person goes away and as you can see here uh, I'm no longer connected I have a virtual serial port error blah 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 because the owner of the system or the computer that's running the ICOM server disconnected me and you can see here I'm no longer connected so that's uh, one of the things that you can do with the VNC uh, or tight VNC which is the one I recommend it so you have another option suppose I want to just turn off ICOM remote utility on the server all I've got to do is go up here and actually shut it down and it uh, goes away and now no one can access any of the radios remotely but the radios are still on let me tab over here to the device manager and you can tell the radios are on because the Silicon Labs uh, is showing that there is activity on these uh, USB ports the 7610 actually creates two connections, but the 7300s only have one each. Now I'm going to go over here to my iPhone, and I'm going to run that uh, Meros application, and here it is. And I'm going to turn off uh, the computer that is what I'm calling the FCC server, but it's only serving the two, the two 7300s. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off see here turn it off there now as, as you can see here if I go down here to uh, common LPT I've only got well these are real COM ports that are actually on that computer but as far as the 7610 goes uh, it's using these two ports the COM10 is the one that I've set up for the USB the COM5 is uh, for different usage on that 7610. Now let me turn the, uh, the the FCC server back on again with my two other radios and all of a sudden now I just turned it back on again I come down here to uh, the, both the serial ports where are they? Here we go and you can see that it brought back all of my computers. So in combination with the CIV timer and a computer running everything on the USB port uh, you can have a lot more control over your station 
So if uh, some authority says you don't have enough control over your automated station, you can say, well, I have a timer on it. I can get in there and turn it off with VNC. And I can also turn it off with a smart switch. So you now have three ways. Oh, and I can go on there and remove a user. So you have uh, several ways that you can control this automated uh, system. And uh, no one should be able to complain that uh, you're running a system without any control at all. Clearly you have several ways to control a remote system. Give this some thought. Hope you uh, implement one of these. I really like the switches from Amazon. I think they're the best. I got them. They're so easy to set up. And I can even give the address to my friend in New York, Rich. Here I am in California. I said, here, connect to my switches. And he just turned on his phone and was able to connect to my switches and turn them on and turn them off. I then uh, removed that access, but it does work very, very well. Jeff, W6FCC, it's November 25th. Everybody have a good holiday, and uh, hopefully the new year will be as productive as uh, the last year. Have fun.